7th of October 2022, the day when I take both of my motorcycles to Siliguri for their first service. Not their first service, basically the new one that I have, the Pulsar 250. It's his first service and it's my happy's fourth service and the last free service of him overall. So for the plan for today, I'm gonna be riding my happy that is my Interceptor 650 and my dear cousin, my brother, Mr. Adam James is gonna be riding my Pulsar N 250. So bro, are you excited? Yes, of course. This is actually the first time we are going somewhere on different bikes, right? Yeah. Cool and cheers. Good morning. Morning. Good morning and namaste. Let's start the ride because we are already pretty late. We are supposed to leave Kalimpong by 7 o'clock and it's almost 8 o'clock in the morning. Courtesy of Mr. Adam James. Seriously, after having ridden the Pulsar all day on my birthday yesterday, it feels great to be back on the Interceptor. All the handling of Pulsar is pretty damn good, but when it comes to raw delivery of the power, the bottom and top, ooh, bike gasm, bro. This is what I mean. It's a perfect day to go Siliguri because the roads aren't going to be as lushy as during the monsoons. Because the day, the day is bright and dry AF. But it's not a good day to reach Siliguri because in Siliguri it's going to be super duper freaking hot bro. No matter what, nothing can beat the fun riding this motorcycle. Stopped at the third mile area of Kalimbong because Mr. Adam James had to get the strap of the helmet tightened according to his head. You know, that is my helmet, the other helmet of mine, and this is my skull. And it is way bigger than his. Just check how tiny, miny his head is compared to mine. That's the reason why we stopped and probably Nietzsche's call as well. After this, we are probably gonna be stopping at Rombi. Are you, bro? Because we haven't had anything from the morning, bro. I haven't even drank water. I woke up, Nietzsche's call, then I brushed my teeth, wore the same clothes that I was wearing yesterday on my birthday, then started riding off. Almost 8.30 in the morning, and by the time we get to Rombi, probably it's gonna be somewhere around 9 o'clock. <laughs> This is the patch I hate riding my motorcycle in. Just look at the freaking condition of the road, bro. Thankfully, the left side of the road is a bit dry compared to the right one. And it's the opposite at this particular patch. Man's restaurant here, we are gonna have a breakfast, which is veg momo. So, bro, how was it, right? Dusty, dusty, but it was fun, right? This guy had a lot of fun, it seems. No, we stopped at somewhere around 27th mile, and I asked him, How was the ride? and he's really liking the exhaust note. This guy is a very big fan of Pulsar NS200, so. Pulsar N250 has a different characteristic. It isn't like Pulsar NS200 at all because I have ridden Pulsar NS200 for quite a long time over the year, the first generation. The newer ones I haven't ridden as much but the older generation, the first generation of NS200, I have had a ton of experience with that bike. And let me tell you, this N250 and Pulsar NS200 
they are extremely different kind of motorcycles they ex ride extremely differently right yes pulsar ns200 it just wants to scream to the top end and this is somewhere like it's got the punch at the bottom end so now we are just going to have a breakfast and then we are just going to leave cuz it's already cross 9 o'clock in the morning and we are supposed to be at celebrity by 10 o'clock we just and the celebrity and as expected the exact thing that i was telling you folks it's super duper hot and i can feel my thigh is getting roasted like literally wow so first off we are going to be heading straight towards the royal infant service center which is situated in sevok road uh, behind hotel sachitra after which we'll be heading straight towards bagdogra what i'm planning to do is i'm planning to leave this motorcycle out there with a technician and then Head straight towards Bagdogra, and after returning from Bagdogra, take him up. So I'm leaving my motorcycle out here at the Royal Enfield Service Centre near Hotel Sachitra, that is in Sevok Road. Now I'm heading straight towards the Bajaj Service Centre, which is located in Bagdogra, because I have an appointment out there as well. But now I won't be riding the motorcycle because old age kicks in, you know, and because of which my back is hurting. But then my dear cousin, Mr. Adam James, he is full of youth. Nothing has happened to his back, it seems. So he's gonna be riding the motorcycle towards Bagdogra. Let's go. If you ask me which bike. I would rather ride. I would happily go with happy. But if you ask me which bike I would rather ride as a pillion, then I would happily sit on this. Cause the pillion seat on my Interceptor 650, oof, it's pathetic, bro. The leg room is so cramped, and literally you can not see anything from behind. Because the seat height of the pillion as well as the rider. it's on the same level so right now i'm at the campus of north bengal university because this guy studies out here and not just that he lives inside the campus apparently you do right so a very funny thing happened okay we thought that the first service of my pulse is going to be like a pretty quick one considering it was just the first service right the most they were going to do was change the engine oil and most probably the oil filter It turns out that the service center is already packed with a number of vehicles. <laughs> so they told us that the bike is going to be ready by 4 o'clock in the evening. And so is my Royal Enfield Interceptor. So most probably today we are going to be staying at his place out here in Siliguri and tomorrow morning we'll be leaving straight to Kalimpong. And today evening we are actually planning to go out if we happen to stay out here in Siliguri. So if we do then you are probably going to see that in the upcoming vlog. So this was entirely about my ride from Kalimpong to Siliguri where the two of us brought my motorcycles to get them serviced. So thank you so much for making me a part of your day. Until next time this is your brother the vlogger from the Hills Priyam Gurung and I will see you very very soon. Till then take care bye bye and cheers to life. Thank you so much. I'll see you folks in the next next vlog. I'm so tired bro. I'm so tired. Buda pa gaya. Old age has kicked in officially. Thank <laughs> you.